OBS Investigates two-part special, we take a look and remind ourselves of Mother Nature's wrath on an island which suffered a great tragedy that unfortunately the entire world bore witness to. And just over a year later, if and what improvements have been made. You start to see on social media some of the first-hand accounts of what's actually taking place. Their house is being torn apart because of the floods. This is a very mountainous part of the world and also a very poor community as well. So their ability to uh, handle this situation is going to be, uh, well, very, very difficult in these well, adverse conditions. Well, we have heard other islands are chipping in with search and rescue. That Most of us remember watching and hearing the events and the impact of Tropical Storm Erica and the toll it took on our brothers and sisters in the nature isle of Dominica. What was to be anticipated as a storm that would bring about heavy rains on Saturday the 27th of August 2015 was instead catastrophic flash flooding and mudslides across the island resulting in Dominica's worst natural disaster since Hurricane David in 1979. Hi, I'm Eldine Udell and I'm inviting you to join us on ABS television on Thursday, September 10, 2015 for the Dominica Will Rise Telethon. Let's lend a helping hand to help our brothers and sisters in Dominica rise again. Nearly 17,000 of the nation's 71,293 people were severely impacted by the storm. A total of 30 people were killed, whilst 20 others were also injured, and 574 people were left homeless. More than 890 homes were destroyed or rendered uninhabitable. Total losses amounted to EC $1.3 billion. And well imagine the hell it has been for me since I heard of the passing of Tropical Storm Erica and the damage it has done to my dear people and our beloved country, the Commonwealth of Dominica. But we all have to pull ourselves together and steady ourselves to ensure that we weather the storm and rebound as a nation in rapid time. We have, in essence, to rebuild Dominica. The visual damage I saw today, I fear, may have set our development process back by 20 years. Fortunately, and by the grace of God, our beautiful twin island state was spared the same fate as Dominica, although the passing of the storm and its devastation was an issue that so many of us felt sympathetic towards. Across the Leeward Islands, many began to contribute aid and finances to help our brothers and sisters back on their feet. ABS contributed to the cause by raising funds during two live telethons which raised a total of EC $50,000. As well as killing individuals in her path, injuring others, making many homeless and some villages completely disappear. Flooding brought about by Erica crippled transportation and communication with eight bridges severely damaged or destroyed, leaving many areas of the island isolated. However, Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt has been determined to build a stronger and more resilient Dominica, although he has stated in an address to the Dominica nation that this mammoth task is not one that can be rushed. He has acknowledged that there must be a greater emphasis on environmental issues and a build for a more secure future, and he has recognized and praised the efforts of the government and the people of Dominica in their aim and attempts to reconstruct and recover. In the months that followed, we have worked hard to reconstruct our lives and rebuild this beautiful nation of ours. We are not yet where we would wish to be in terms of the rebuilding effort, but I am sure all will agree that our progress has been remarkable and we are on course to building back better our beloved nature island. In February 2016, we have in February 2016, we have watched Dominicans and visitors alike revel in the streets during their carnival festivities and likewise during their recent Creole and cultural festivals. That concludes part one of our look at Dominica one year after the tropical storm Erica passed through and caused such devastation. Tomorrow we will continue our ABS investigates on looking at how resilient a nation Dominica are and exactly what is happening as we go towards a future where they continue to strive to rise again. I'm Donna Marie McIntosh reporting for ABS Investigates on the ABS Evening News.